Hi guys, I'm back. It's still Monday. This is still Nova Gnome at Nova Gnome Creations. <laughs> so uh, it's Happy Mail Monday and I made a video this morning about my first Happy Mail and I was very excited about it. And then look what just happened. This just happened on my porch like five minutes ago. This is an Amazon envelope. And my husband and I are both like, we didn't order anything from Amazon. What is this? And I and he's like, should I open it and check? Because it doesn't say who it's from. And I'm like, is it Happy Mail? Like, did I get a ha another Happy Mail? Like, no. He opened it up and he t took a peek for me at the... Um, gift slip and he said that it was from Lydia and I was like I know who Lydia is that's a happy mail so I had to come on here and make a video I have no idea what this is but it's from Lydia um I'm not gonna I don't okay anyway let's open it it's well it's, it's opened but let's let's like unearth it yes this is I wanted this Oh my gosh. Oops, I'm riling up my dogs. I actually really wanted this. So this is, you may have seen this before. This is a, a crochet gnome book um, that I saw for the first time on um, Llama Mama Kayla's channel when she got it. And I was like, I want that. Okay, so let's read the gift note. Uh, it says, a gift for you. Have fun creating the gnomes from this book. I'm sure you'll do some great modifications. Happy crocheting. Oh, from Lydia. Thank you. Oh, that's so cool. This is not happening. <laughs> I am so excited. Ah, okay. So I guess we can do like a little like gnomey video today too. So... Um, another Happy Mail video, and we'll also make it more gnome -y content. So sorry for my dog barking. Are you chilling with your gnomies? Yeah, I'm chilling with my gnomies. I actually, okay guys, when I made that um, gnome of the month video on um, Saturday, I asked for like if anyone had any ideas, and you guys actually, like several of you had cool ideas for the names of those um, gnome videos that I'm going to do um, one at the beginning of the month on Saturday and one at the end of the month on Saturday. So I actually wrote them down and I'm going to like choose a different name. <laughs> I'm going to choose, not choose a different name. Oh yeah, I'm going to choose a different name for the videos. I'm sorry guys. I'm like, whew, I'm so excited. But yeah, I have a couple names uh, of for the videos, like titles. That's what I was trying to say is titles for the videos written down that you guys suggested to me. So that'll be something fun. I'm gonna kind of rotate through them, the ideas that you guys had. Um, and I wrote down like whose idea it was too. So that'll be fun. But anyways, let's take a look at this. So it is Year Round Gnomes by um, Eliza Sar Sartori. I think it's Eliza. Ah, so it says, Eight mythological creatures to add a touch of whimsy to your home. Oh, and this is an Annie's crochet book. So cute. Already, guys, I'm just at the table of contents. <laughs> so, okay, so the names aren't really going to mean anything because they're like, they named them. But here's the table of contents. Ah! Um... So that one was apparently Daryl. That's on page 26. And then we've got Bixley, which is a Christmas gnome. Um, and I actually do have some um, gnome-y uh, info that I can put in this video because I had been asking like how you guys wanted to do it, if we should do like every Saturday of the month or if we should just do like the first Saturday of the month I show what I'm going to make and then last Saturday of the month I show it finished. Um, and then there's these cute, like, Valentine's-themed ones, and that is, um, I forgot to check the name as I was going past it, multitasking. I'm not great at multitasking. Uh, Lorenzo and Esme. Um, so anyway, I had made some decisions on that. So here is Pascal. 
<laughs> trying to figure out how to show you guys. So cute! So Pascal is like an Easter-y themed one with like little Easter bunny ears. Um, but yeah, so for, uh, for the gnome of the month, I decided to, uh, I'll make a video at the beginning of the month. Well, I decided with all of your input and, and, uh, your thoughts, cause I wanted to hear what you guys had to say about it. Um, that we'll do the first of Saturday of the month. We'll do like, this is the gnome I'm making this month. And then the last Saturday of the month, I'll show you my finished gnome. But also, if you want to email me gnomes that you make, I'll include those in the video too. And it can just be like a gnomey goodness video. Um, you know, I'll show you mine and then we'll do like a little montage of the gnomes that you guys have sent in. So um, obviously it'll be your gnome of the month. But if you want to for this first uh, gnome of the month, since this is the first one, uh, you can just send me any gnomes that you've made already. It doesn't have to be this month. And then going forward, uh, we'll do like the gnome. You can send me whatever gnome you make that month. Month. and it can be any gnome you don't got to make the gnome I make and um it can be any type of like you made the gnome it could be like crocheted knitted um felted sewn painted like whatever whatever artsy kind of way you decide to make a gnome uh, I think that would be so fun so that's what we're gonna do so if you guys want to send in gnomes you can send in your gnomes to my email which is always in my description box so here's blossom so adorable. Oh, and then here's the one that um, Llama Mama Kayla had made. Sookie. The uh, Halloween themed gnome. Uh, and I cannot wait to dive into these. Thank you so much, Lydia. This is so exciting. I actually really wanted this, too. This is... Carmine. Carmine? Carmine? Probably Carmine. Got a little pumpkin. Oh, and then here's Daryl from the Table of Contents. <laughs> I like his, like, patchy, um, outfit. Always love, like, patchwork type of things. And I think that that might be the last one. Yep, that's the last one. And then it's got like stitch guide and metric conversion charts. Oh yeah, what, what is this in? This looks like it's in US crochet terms, I'm assuming. I don't know what the metric conversion chart is for. Maybe that's for like non um, US crocheters or something, I don't know. But either way, this is so awesome. And here's the back. Ah, I can't believe it. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put this gift receipt in here and use it like a bookmark because I love that idea and that is a great way to always remember who gave me this. Thank you so much. That is so awesome. I just had to get back on here because I wanted to know what this was and it's still Happy Mail Monday um, and it came of course later in the day after I did my video so I was like I am not waiting a week to open this. Um, but I'll go ahead and update you guys on this um, circular vest that I was working on in my video earlier in the day since I'm here. Um, this is what it's looking like so far. I'm not sure which way is the top and which way is the bottom. But this is what it's looking like so far, and it's starting to just started working on the sleeveish area. And this is the way the colors are kind of working up. But yeah, so there's a little update on that. I will now not show it to you until it's finished. Uh, and I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.